All you commandment keepers, all right, you, 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 uh, you law pushers, because we are supposed to rehearse the righteous acts. We are supposed to rehearse the righteous act, but we can't keep the laws perfectly. And it says it's not justified in his sight. In whose sight? Yahweh Bashim, Yahweh Shah, the Most High and the Son, all right? Because he know we can't keep all the laws in this captivity, all right? For the law, I mean, for the law, the knowledge is sin, and what is sin, the transgression of the law, all right? So we, we can't keep the Lord perfectly in this society, so we're saved by the faith. We're justified by faith. I got something for you. This is Romans 8 and 24. For we are saved by hope, yeah. but hope that is seen is not hope. Yeah, if you see hope that is seen is not hope, man. Like, somebody, like you walk up to somebody and tell you, you're saved, man. You ain't saved, man. When you go, what, why is, what, why is, I mean, what, what are you saved from? You gotta be saved from something to be saved. That's right. The only time you're gonna be saved is in the end, man. Hope, like from like, like, like a house, like a car. That, that ain't hope, man. Mm -hmm. Hope is something you can't see. Hope and faith goes together, man. Yeah. For we are saved by hope, yeah. but hope that is seen is not hope. Yeah. For what a man seeth, why do he yet hope for? Yeah, so if you see something, man, why you why you hope for it, man? Hope is something you can't see. If you can't see something, then you want it more, man. But if you could see something, man, you, you want it no more, man. Like if you want something for a long while, man, and he got it, man, he want it, he want it no more, man. You already play, it's already played out. You already you already destroyed it, man. Mm -hmm. Yeah, hope hope is something you can't see. I got a quick precept. Right. This is he of uh, Second Corinthians five and seven. For we walk by faith, not by sight. Yeah, we walk by faith, not by sight, man. So we walk like a blind man in a room, man. You don't know where you see, you don't know if you're walking around, but you know his house. That's right. Just like in the truth, man. We know what we're walking by, we're walking in this world, man. Right. We know this world is going out, man. So That's right. And we know we got something better to look forward to, the kingdom of heaven. That's right. So we, so we don't give a damn about this world, man. Yeah, we walk by faith and not by sight, because we don't see the kingdom of heaven. Yeah. We, we, we can't see the Lord. We can't see uh, the chariots on a, on a large scale. We can't see the angels. We can't see the spiritual realm. But we know it's there. We know it's coming soon. And hopefully the year 2013, this is it, man. Hopefully this is it. That's it? Oh, this is a little bit more. This is uh, back at Romans 8 and 25. But if we hope for that what we see not, then do we with then. Do we, with patience, wait for it? Yeah, man. So if you can't see something, man, like the kingdom of heaven, man, we patiently wait for it, man. I know the elders been in the truth longer than me, man. So this, this the way that I just a couple of years in the truth, and I waited, waited for my reward, man. I try my best to stay in the truth, do all is right to all the brothers, man, and I try to see the truth, try to stay until the Lord come back and deliver us, man. Because as the elders say, man, ain't none of us safe, man. That's right. Ain't none of us know we don't like, man. So. Mm -hmm. That's why we stay coming out on the streets. We keep pushing the word. We keep making the shows to wake up the elect. We keep doing the. We keep answering questions, man. That's why we keep doing this work. Can I say something too, bro? Yeah. And just because you're part of, like the elders always say, just because you're part of GMS doesn't yeah. mean you're part of the elect. Yeah. All right. No one knows if they're part of the elect. That's why the, the elders are still out there uh, striving and giving diligence uh, to the Lord. Yeah. All right. Yeah. If you know you don't like, man, you're going to stop teaching. Man. You know, why, why would you that's go right. and teach if you know if you, know you don't like? You ain't going to teach no more, man. That's why That's why it says here, yeah, then do we with patience yeah. wait for it. Then with sufferings, we wait for it. Because yeah. we, yeah, we don't know. We don't know. So that's why we out here laboring and giving diligence to the Lord. That's why we do these shows. Yeah. To help out you occupy break raise up your faith. Yeah. All right? You got a scripture for you right here? Okay, bro. This is the book of um, Luke, chapter 21, verse 19. And your patience possesses your souls. Mm. And your patience possesses your souls. Patience is another word, in uh, another word means sufferings. And your sufferings possess you your souls. So you're supposed to suffer being in this truth. Because like the, uh, the scriptures say, enter ye in a straight gate. All right, because this is a position of difficulty being in this truth, have, being a journey and a journey of a prophet is difficult. It's hard. It's hardship. There's nothing easy about being in this truth, especially because your eyes are open to all the wickedness and abominations that's around us. Faggots and lesbians, adultery, which niggas love to commit, niggas smoking weed, blaspheming the most high. And then even being in this truth, you got wicked Israelites saying the name don't matter. You can have sex with a woman up her ass. A whole bunch of abominable shit, man. We gotta suffer all this, all right, until the kingdom. Uh, scripture for you right here. Okay. Right, yeah. 
in the book of um, Zephaniah, chapter 3, verse 8. Therefore wait ye upon me, say the Lord, mm -hmm. until the day that I rise up to the prey for my determination. Yeah, wait ye upon me. This is this is a straight commandment from the Lord. We're supposed to wait upon the Lord, man. We can't be carnal. All right? We can't be carnal and try to take down this man ourselves. We can't be carnal and be fighting every nigga that pisses us off or every faggot we see. It says, wait ye upon me until I rise up to the prey. Who is the prey? Two-thirds of our people, first and foremost. Two-thirds of the Negroes, Latinos, Native Americans, and Mexicans. Who's after that? The so-called white man and all the heathen nations. That's the prey. Got it. It says... Gather the nations that I may assemble the kingdoms. Because my determination is to gather the nations. That's World War Three. That's where we're headed. In. We're at the doorsteps of World War Three as we speak. All right. To pour upon them my indignation, mm -hmm. even all my fierce anger, uh -huh. for all the earth shall be devoured with fire of my jealousy. To pour upon them my indignation and my fury. And what's that? The thermonuclear fire. That's the fury of the Lord. Yeah, I got, I got something for you. That's the fury of the Lord. That's the that's the uh, fiery flame and the fury of the Lord. The thermonuclear missiles, the ICBM intercontinental ballistic missiles, that's going to be shot upon America and Armageddon. All right, uh, the land of Jehoshaphat. All right, I got something for you. Yeah. This is Romans eight and eighteen. For I reckon that the sufferings of this present time are not worthy to be compared with the glory which we shall receive in yeah, us. Like, like, yeah, man, like this kingdom right now, man, we suffering every day. Seeing these faggots every day, walking about the streets, that, that's, that's suffering, man. You gotta work for this, you gotta work for your enemy. You got your, your, your family turning against you, man. The woman turning on you, man. Yeah, man, that, 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 that's suffering, man. But we know we're gonna collect something at the end for all this suffering, man. For I reckon that the suffering of this present time are not worthy yeah. to be compared with the glory which shall be revealed yeah, in us. Yeah, man, the glory. We can't even imagine how the kingdom of heaven is going to look, man. That's right. Damn. Like, you can't even think about it, man. Mm -hmm. the, yeah, man, I, I, that's what that's what I'm, I'm in the truth for, man. I want to I wanna make it all to hear the kingdom of heaven, man. Like, damn, I want to be like, damn. I really, I hope, hoping, man, hoping every day, I pray to the most high. That's right. Uh, continue on to the end, man. And to see the kingdom of heaven, to see the... Um, most side and the son and the angels and the prophets, man, and all the brothers that die in the truth, man. Yeah, man, that that's the real um, family reunion, man. That's right. Going back to the kingdom of heaven, man. That's right. Yeah, that's something right here. Okay. This is the book of um. You can speak on. I got all right. Yeah, like the brother was saying, or like the scripture said, this is only a light affliction in the eyes of the Most High. That's why the Lord always tell us to gird yourself up as men. All right, because. This is really petty, man. This yeah, is man. bullshit, man. Whatever, you're working, you're woman, your family, whatever it is, man. It's a light affliction compared to what we're going to receive. That's why the Lord said just man up, man. Yeah, and it's, a, it's a light affliction compared to what Esau and the other nations That's are right. receiving the kingdom. Man. That's right. This is the book of Habakkuk, chapter 2, verse 3. Mm -hmm. For the vision is yet for an appointed time, but the end it shall sh speak and not lie. For the vision is yet for a appointed time. What's the vision? The kingdom of heaven. The, the Negroes, Latinos, the Native Americans being turned back to their nationality. Being one uh, one family as they uh, was meant to be. Slaves. The so-called white men going into slavery. And all the other nations that's not Israel going into slavery. The black women in subjection. All right, And all the Israelite women under subjection. What's the vision for a point in time? The thermonuclear destruction, all right? The bomb, the, the ICBMs that's going to blow up America and all the Esau's rulerships, all right? That's the vision that's yet for a point in time. But he says, wait, all right? Yeah. It says, um, but the end shall speak and not lie. The end it shall speak and not lie because these things are coming to pass. Don't you see me testing out the missiles out there in Korea and Russia and all the other nations, Iran? Why do you think they keep harassing Iran for? About because they don't want them to have the nuclear missiles that might well that will blow up America. Okay. It says, though it tarry, wait for it. Though it tarry, wait for it. Though it seem long, wait for it. Okay. It says, it shall surely come, it will not tarry. It shall surely come, it shall not tarry. Because the scriptures say, I'm gonna get it real, real fast. This is Isaiah, because I'm gonna show you what the Lord said. Isaiah 14, I got this for you, boy. 
Bro, uh, Isaiah 14 and 24. The Lord of hosts has sworn.